A mudra listen, Sanskrit, seal, mark, or gesture. Tibetan, thl, chagya, is a symbolic or ritual gesture in Hinduism and Buddhism. While some mudras involve the entire body, most are performed with the hands and fingers. A mudra is a spiritual gesture and an energetic seal of authenticity employed in the iconography and spiritual practice of Indian religions. In Hatha Yoga, mudras are used in conjunction with pranayama yogic breathing exercises, generally while in a seated posture, to stimulate different parts of the body involved with breathing and to affect the flow of prana, bindu male psycho-sexual energy, bodhikada, amrita or consciousness in the body. Unlike older tantric mudras, hatha yogic mudras are generally internal actions, involving the pelvic floor, diaphragm, throat, eyes, tongue, anus, genitals, abdomen, and other parts of the body. Examples are Mula Banda, Mahamudra, Hatha Yoga, Viparita Karani, Kakari Mudra, and Shambhavi. These expanded in number from three in the Amritasiddhi, to twenty-five in the Garanda Samhita, with a classical set of ten arising in the Hatha Yoga Pradipika. <laughs> Nomenclature The Chinese translation is yin Chinese, yin pinyin, yin or yinxiang Chinese, yin shang pinyin, yin xiang. Both these Chinese words also appear as loanwords in Japanese as in an inzo or inso, respectively and Korean as in an insing, respectively. Two other Chinese-based compounds, yin qi read as inge or inke in Japanese and as ingi in Korean and mi yin read as mitsuan or michin in Japanese and as mirin in Korean, are also used. In Japanese, the former compound may also be used with the order of the characters reversed, i.e., chi yin kan. Topic: Iconography. Mudra is used in the iconography of Hindu and Buddhist art of the Indian subcontinent and described in the scriptures, such as Natyasastra, which lists 24 asamuta, separated, meaning one hand and thirteen samyutta, joined, meaning, two-hand, mudras. Mudra positions are usually formed by both the hand and the fingers. Along with asanas, seated postures, they are employed statically in the meditation and dynamically in the natya practice of Hinduism. Hindu and Buddhist iconography share some mudras. In some regions, for example in Laos and Thailand, these are distinct but share related iconographic conventions. According to Jamgotan Kongtrul in his commentary on the Hevajra Tantra, the ornaments of wrathful deities and witches made of human bones SKT, Isthimudra, Wiley, Rus Pi Rgyanl Phyag Rgya are also known as mudra seals. <laughs> <laughs> Indian classical dance In Indian classical dance, the term Asta mudra is used. The Natya Shastra describes 24 mudras, while the Abhinaya Dharpana of Nandakeshvara gives 28. In all their forms of Indian classical dance, the mudras are similar, though the names and uses vary. There are 28 or 32 root mudras in Bharatanatyam, 24 in Kathakali and 20 in Odissi. These root mudras are combined in different ways, like one hand, two hands, arm movements, body and facial expressions. In Kathakali, which has the greatest number of combinations, the vocabulary adds up to c. 900. Sanyukta mudras use both hands and Asanyukta mudras use one hand. Yogic <inaudible> mudras <inaudible> The classical sources for the mudras in yoga are the Garanda Samhita and the Hatha Yoga Pradipika. The Hatha Yoga Pradipika states the importance of mudras in yoga practice. Therefore the goddess sleeping at the entrance of Brahma's door should be constantly aroused with all effort, by performing mudra thoroughly. In the 20th and 21st centuries, the yoga teacher Satyananda Saraswati, founder of the Bihar School of Yoga, continued to emphasize the importance of mudras in his instructional text Asana, Pranayama, Mudra, Banda. Basic mudra, chin mudra The thumb and forefinger on each of the hands are joined, forming a zero. The rest of the fingers are extended. 
The hands are placed palms up on the thighs or knees while sitting in varasana for meditation, or palm down for pranayama. This mudra supposedly activates the diaphragm, making for deep stomach breathing, as the diaphragm pushes out the internal organs when it descends towards the pelvis on inhalation. Slow breathing in a 5 2 4 2 mentally counted rhythm, counting to 5 during the exhalation, to 2 while holding the breath, and to 4 on the inhalation causes prana flow in the pelvis and in the legs. Topic: <laughs> Basic Mudra, Chinmaya Mudra. The thumb and forefinger are the same as in Chin Mudra. The rest of the fingers are folded into a fist. The non-folded part of the forefinger and the middle finger should still be touching. As in Chin Mudra, the hands are placed palms up on the thighs while sitting in Varasana for meditation, or palm down for pranayama. This mudra supposedly activates the ribs, making them expand sideways on inhalation. Slow breathing in a 5-2-4-2 counted rhythm counting to 5 during the exhalation, to 2 while holding the breath, and to 4 on the inhalation causes prana flow in the torso and in the throat. Basic mudra, Adi mudra The thumb is folded into the palm, touching the base of the small finger. The rest of the fingers are folded over the thumb, to create a fist. The hands are placed palms down on the thighs while sitting in varasana. This mudra supposedly activates the pectoral muscles, making the chest expand forward on inhalation. Slow breathing in a 5 2, 4, 2 counted rhythm counting to 5 during the exhalation, to 2 while holding the breath, and to 4 on the inhalation makes prana flow in the throat and in the head. <laughs> Basic compact mudra, Brahma mudra The hands are as in Adi mudra, but the palms face upwards and are located at the level of the navel, with the left and right knuckles and first finger joints touching. This is done while sitting in varasana. Breathing becomes full, in inhalation, the diaphragm descends, the ribs then expand, and then the pectoral muscles move forward. Exhalation works in the same order, which creates a wave or ripple effect. Advanced compact mudra, prana mudra A complicated mudra combining hand gestures, synchronized movement from gesture to gesture within the breath cycle, and meditation. The mudra is practiced sitting in sadasana. Even a single breath cycle of this mudra can significantly stimulate the body. It is described in the book, Theories of the Chakras, by Hiroshi Motoyama. Common Buddhist mudras <inaudible> Abhaya mudra The Abhaya mudra gesture of fearlessness", represents protection, peace, benevolence and the dispelling of fear. In Theravada Buddhism it is usually made while standing with the right arm bent and raised to shoulder height, the palm facing forward, the fingers closed, pointing upright and the left hand resting by the side. In Thailand and Laos, this mudra is associated with the walking Buddha, often shown having both hands making a double abhaya mudra that is uniform. This mudra was probably used before the onset of Buddhism as a symbol of good intentions proposing friendship when approaching strangers. In Gandharan art, it is seen when showing the action of preaching. It was also used in China during the Wei and Sui eras of the 4th and 7th centuries. This gesture was used by the Buddha when attacked by an elephant, subduing it as shown in several frescoes and scripts. In Mahayana Buddhism, the northern school's deities often paired it with another mudra using the other hand. Bhumisparsa <laughs> mudra The Bhumisparsa or Earth Witness Mudra of Gautama Buddha is one of the most common iconic images of Buddhism. It depicts the Buddha sitting in meditation with his left hand, palm upright, in his lap, and his right hand touching the earth. It represents the Buddha asking Pradivi, the Devi of the earth, that she witness his enlightenment when he was threatened by demon King Mara. Bodhyangi Mudra 
the Bodhyangi Mudra, the Mudra of the Six Elements, or the Fist of Wisdom, is a gesture entailing the left hand index finger being grasped with the right hand. It is commonly seen on statues of the Vairokana Buddha. <laughs> Dharma Chakra Mudra The Buddha preached his first sermon after his enlightenment in Deer Park in Sarnath. The Dharma Chakra or turning of the wheel mudra represents that moment. In general, only Gautama Buddha is shown making this mudra except Maitreya as the dispenser of the law. Dharma Chakra mudra is two hands close together in front of the chest in Vitarka with the right palm forward and the left palm upward, sometimes facing the chest. There are several variants such as in the Ajanta Caves frescoes, where the two hands are separated and the fingers do not touch. In the Indo-Greek style of Gandhara, the clenched fist of the right hand seemingly overlies the fingers joined to the thumb on the left hand. In pictorials of Horyuji in Japan the right hand is superimposed on the left. Certain figures of Amitabha, Japan are seen using this mudra before the 9th century. Dhyana Mudra The Dhyana Mudra, meditation mudra is the gesture of meditation, of the concentration of the good law and the Sangha. The two hands are placed on the lap, left hand on right with fingers fully stretched four fingers resting on each other and the thumbs facing upwards towards one another diagonally, palms facing upwards. In this manner, the hands and fingers form the shape of a triangle, which is symbolic of the spiritual fire or the three jewels. This mudra is used in representations of Gautama Buddha and Amitabha. Sometimes the Dhyana mudra is used in certain representations of Bhaisajyaguru as the medicine Buddha, with a medicine bowl placed on the hands. It originated in India most likely in Gandhara and in China during the Northern Way. It is heavily used in Southeast Asia in Theravada Buddhism, however, the thumbs are placed against the palms. Dhyana mudra is also known as Samadhi mudra, or Yoga Mudra, Chinese, Chan Ding Yin Pinyin, Chan Ding Yin, Japanese pronunciation, Join, Jokai Join. The Maida no Join Mituo Ding Yin is the Japanese name of a variation of the Dhyana Mudra, where the index fingers are brought together with the thumbs. This was predominantly used in Japan in an effort to distinguish Amitabha, hence, Maida, from Amida, from the Vairokana Buddha, and was rarely used elsewhere. Topic. Virata Mudra The Virata Mudra generosity gesture, signifies offering, welcome, charity, giving, compassion and sincerity. It is nearly always shown made with the left hand by a revered figure devoted to human salvation from greed, anger and delusion. It can be made with the arm crooked and the palm offered slightly turned up or in the case of the arm facing down the palm presented with the fingers upright or slightly bent. The Virata mudra is rarely seen without another mudra used by the right hand, typically a baya mudra. It is often confused with Vitarka mudra, which it closely resembles. In China and Japan during the Northern Wei and Asuka periods, respectively, the fingers are stiff and then gradually begin to loosen as it developed over time, eventually leading to the Tang dynasty standard where the fingers are naturally curved. In India, Virata mudra is used in images of Avalokiteshvara from the Gupta Empire 4th and 5th centuries. Virata mudra is extensively used in the statues of Southeast Asia. Topic: <inaudible> Vajra mudra. The Vajra mudra, thunder gesture, is the gesture of knowledge. An example of the application of the Vajra mudra is the seventh technique out of nine of the nine syllable seals. Vitarka mudra The Vitarka mudra, mudra of discussion, is the gesture of discussion and transmission of Buddhist teaching. It is done by joining the tips of the thumb and the index together, and keeping the other fingers straight very much like the abhaya and virata mudras but with the thumbs touching the index fingers. This mudra has a great number of variants in Mahayana Buddhism. In Tibetan Buddhism, it is the mystic gesture of Taras and Bodhisattvas with some differences by the deities in Yabhyam. Vitarka mudra is also known as Vyahayana mudra, mudra of explanation. Topic: 
Topic: Gyana Mudra. The Gyana Mudra, Mudra of Wisdom, is done by touching the tips of the thumb and the index together, forming a circle, and the hand is held with the palm inward toward the heart. Topic: Karana Mudra. The Karana Mudra is the mudra which expels demons and removes obstacles such as sickness or negative thoughts. It is made by raising the index and the little finger, and folding the other fingers. It is nearly the same as the Western sign of the horns. The difference is that in the Karana Mudra the thumb does not hold down the middle and ring finger. This mudra is also known as Tarjani Mudra, Japanese, Funu in, Fudo in. Martial arts and mudra Various Asian martial arts forms contain positions identical to these mudras. Moromoto 2003 in discussing his experience of mudra in relation to his martial arts training makes reference to Mikkyo, Tendai and Shingon Buddhism. One of the more curious things that I encountered in my martial arts training was the use of mudra in combative arts. Mudra Japanese, in, for those who aren't familiar with them, are these weird hand gestures that are derived from esoteric Buddhism Mikio, particularly the Tendai and Shingon sects. These gestures are supposed to generate spiritual focus and power which then are manifested in some way externally. Moromoto 2003 states a lineage of mudra in martial arts and evokes Koryu, Ryu, Kanto, Tenshin Shodan Katori Shinto Ryu, Raizuki Otake and Don F. Dreger. In any case, I had known of the use of mudra in Koryu old martial arts since the time I was privy to a discussion with the training master of the Tenshin Shodan Katori Shinto Ryu, Otake Raizuki, and the late Don F. Dreger. Otake Sensei described some of the mudra used in his school, which is one of the oldest martial ryu still in existence in Kanto Eastern Japan. In relation to charting a historical tributary to mudra within Japanese fighting culture, Moromoto 2003 incorporates Shinto, Samurai, Tokugawa Shogunate, Neo-Confucianism, Zen, the Kamakura Shogunate, the Edo period, Takuan Soho and Hakuin Ikaku. The use of mudra and other aspects of Mikio are found in many instances in many Koryu, because Mikio and Shinto were the religions of the samurai who founded those ryu that were created before the 17th century. Subsequent Ryu developed after the imposition of the Tokugawa government were heavily influenced by Neo-Confucianism, and then later by Zen Buddhism. Although Zen was popularized among the warrior class in the Kamakura period, the 14th century, it did not greatly affect martial arts until the latter part of the Edo period, with the writings of the Zen priests Takuan and Hakuin. And even at that, Edo period 1600-1868 martial arts were equally influenced by Neo-Confucianism and even, in the latter part, mystical Shinto. Moromoto 2003 textually maps the execution of the knife hand strike mudra. Mikio uses mudra most often in combination with various rituals, chants and so on. One common mudra is that of the knife hand, or shuto. The first two fingers are extended while the thumb and other fingers are clenched. If you look closely, you may see this movement subtly hidden in some Koryu Keita, especially by old schools such as the Tenshin Shodan Katori Shinto Ryu, or in statues of divine Buddhist beings. This represents the sort of enlightenment, which cuts away all delusions. Sometimes the tips of the extended fingers are grasped in the fist of the other hand. There is a symbolic meaning for this, derived from Mikio. See also List of mudras yoga. List of mudras dance. Mahamudra Tea ceremony Pranama Yab yum Notes <laughs>